Have you found a beaver on your property or neighborhood stream? Don't be so quick to get rid of it. Beavers actually play a number of positive roles in their environment. And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, beavers maintain woodland ecosystems. By taking down trees, beavers permit new pioneering light hungry trees to grow and the forest to regenerate. Number two, beavers convert streams into wetland habitats. Now you may be thinking, why would I want a wetland? Isn't that a downside? Well, as we've shown in previous videos, wetlands are actually some of the most important environments in our world. The wetlands created by beaver dams provide a home for numerous species, but perhaps more importantly for you, wetlands prevent flooding in the nearby area. Number three, as we just alluded to, beavers create biodiversity. Wetlands are some of the most biodiverse habitats on earth. And when beavers create them, they provide homes for many species that could not otherwise thrive without them. And for this reason, beavers are considered ecosystem engineers. Number four, beavers help reduce the impacts of climate change. One study showed that the river temperature downstream of beaver dams was 2.5 degrees Celsius lower than upstream. This is because beaver dams collect water and allow it to recharge into the ground. But on top of this, beaver dams also store carbon. Number five, beaver dams store water during droughts. Well, as we just mentioned, one of the biggest changes beaver dams make in the environment is that they store more water in the surrounding area, which means that when dry conditions come around, there will still be excess water stored to help maintain stream flow. And number six, Beavers help improve water quality. Again, beaver dams create wetlands, and wetlands are nature's filtration systems, which means that the water around beaver dams have fewer nutrients, pollutants, and sediments than in other non-beaver ponds. So that covers some of the surprising benefits of beavers. But are you still not convinced? Perhaps you are like the man Ben Goldfarb, a true beaver believer, met when documenting a beaver catch and release. When Ben pointed out the beaver scuttling nervously in a cage as it was boosted into a scientist's truck, the man said, why don't you just shoot the... Well, you get the picture. Many people are like this elderly gentleman who, I should point out, in Good Samaritan fashion, was picking up trash on the side of the road, believe beavers are only good at plugging up culverts and streams, which is why I wanted to make a video on them. You see, not every community is hostile to beavers. The Tulalip tribe, or the people of the salmon, have lived in the Puget Sound area for thousands of years. Salmon are sacred to the Tulalip, so they are doing perhaps more than anyone else to try to stem the collapse of Puget Sound's wild population. Their efforts include raising salmon in several trial fisheries, collecting water pollutants such as manure and agricultural waste from the surrounding area and converting it to bioenergy, and of course, reintroducing beaver to the greater Skykomish River Basin. Why beavers? Well, beavers, it turns out, are critical to the health of salmon populations. Wait, you may be thinking, don't beavers dam rivers? Yes, they do, but that's the point. Far from being an obstacle for these powerful fish, beaver dams actually provide the ponds, pools, and lazy subchannels that salmon juveniles need in order to rest and conserve energy. In fact, the removal of beavers from the Stillguamish River Basin is estimated to have reduced the salmon population in summer by between 68 and 89 percent. Which is why the Tulalip tribe started the Tulalip Beaver Project, to relocate nuisance beavers from suburban areas to the hydrologically impaired tributaries of the upper Snohomish River. The hope is to jumpstart the natural re-beavering of the Puget Sound while simultaneously repairing the relationship that urbanite Washingtons have with nature's engineers. And indeed, when Ben went to visit a few of the ponds created by these transplants, he found millions of salmon fry milling about. As Ben said, 
We were hours by car from the Puget Sound lowlands, yet beavers and salmon have connected this slender stream to the sea. So next time you see one of these plump little architects, perhaps leave the shotgun at home. If you don't want them in your yard, I'm sure your local forest preserve could use them. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about the benefits of beavers in your area? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. Check it out at gokchecapital.com glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com listings. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.